Hi, this is Richard Dezerga from Microsoft, and in this video, we're going to look at how to build a custom file handler add-in for Office 365. So this is a great way to extend Office 365 to provide new experiences for different types of files. So it might be an existing type of file that maybe is common, or it might be a completely new file extension that is proprietary to something that your organization builds. So the scenario we're going to actually go through is um, taking an existing file type and extend it to do more. So we're going to actually take uh, an image file type and instead of just launching it in a, a window to display that picture, we're actually going to bring it into a little uh, in-browser drawing program like Paint where I can go paint on that picture and annotate on top of it. So it's kind of a neat thing. Now these uh, custom file handler add-ins are implemented as a standalone web application. So you can really host these on any web platform. And when they get invoked, uh, some information gets passed to the, the handler. And, and we'll take a look at that. Um, these are secured by Azure Active Directory. So the first step in doing this is you would want to register a Azure AD application. So there's a number of different ways for doing that. You can go into the management portal if you want to um, do that, uh, or you can even go and do it inside of Visual Studio. So in Visual Studio, I can simply right click and say, add connected service. And this will walk me through a wizard for connecting to the Office 365 APIs. Um, really, all this will do for us is register the app. You will need to go into the Azure Management Portal for these custom file handler add-ins because they use a, a brand new permission that is called um, read write files that the user selects. So this is really unique in that we're not just going to expose every app, every like file we have in the organization to these add-ins. It's only going to be files that a user explicitly selects. So that's going to be great for maybe finding these third-party file handlers in the Office Store in the future. So um, once I've done that, once I've specified the permissions in, in the Azure Management Portal, again, there's some new ones that are only showing up there for now. The next step is I need to actually register some additional things in Azure Active Directory to say that this is a special type of add-in. And unfortunately today we don't have any sort of user interface in the Azure Management Portal. And so the Office Extensibility team created a nice little website that you can use to do that. So um, if you go to addinsmanager.azurewebsites.net, it'll bring you to a, a really simple little web application that you can sign into. So we'll go ahead and sign in under one of my demo accounts. And then that'll show you actually all the applications you have registered in Azure AD. So I'm pretty active. I have quite a few in here. And here's my image file handler. And I've already registered an add-in, but you can see um, I, at this point, the only thing that's in here is file handlers. In the future, there might be other types of add-ins that I could register in this. Uh, but for the one that I've registered, what you'll see is there's a, a set of properties that I'm going to fill in. First of all, I need to specify the file extension that this handler is relevant for. So you can see in this case, I am saying that any PNG file will use this extension, or will use this, this uh, handler. The next thing is what's the endpoint for opening the file? So when the user clicks on the file in a library in SharePoint or when it's an attachment in OWA, where are we going to go and put, post some information so that it can be displayed. And so that's that's an endpoint in my uh, MVC web application. The next endpoint is the preview. So you can implement both the kind of full handler when it goes, when you go in to open it, uh, but there's also a preview to where I can preview the file. In our case, the preview is really gonna be identical. There's nothing that's gonna be unique to how we preview a PNG file. It's only gonna be, when we open it, it's gonna be in like a paint type of experience. And then the last thing is you can specify your own custom uh, icon. And this will show up both inside of OA and inside of SharePoint Online, OneDrive for Business. You'll actually see that custom icon. And so in this case, 
I specified a slightly different icon and we might actually see it uh, toggle. It's, it usually happens almost instantaneously, but uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that. It'll, it'll bring up that, that icon. So once I do this, I can say update add-in and that basically registers all the additional metadata on the app. So this is all stuff that's going on the manifest of the application in Azure Active Directory. At this point, it's ready to run. So at this point, you can see that I'm, I'm using localhost. So we'll go ahead and run this from Visual Studio. I'm gonna put one breakpoint on the, when we actually come in to view the image. Uh, and I, what I wanna show you is there is some really critical information that gets posted to this view that we can go. It's basically form data that we can go and look at. So it'll have things like uh, what endpoint do I use to go and get the file? Where do I go and, and send an update if someone wants to edit the file? So it's gonna allow me to do all that. So we'll go ahead and, and run. This will launch our application. And actually I'm gonna use an in private window for this. Let's go back here. And I'm gonna go into just OneDrive for Business on the same tenant where I've, I've set this up. Now this application is actually set up to be a, um, it is actually set up to be multi-tenant. So any organization could theoretically use this custom file handler add-in. Um, I am gonna switch to the classic view of OneDrive. Uh, they're still look, working to uh, upgrade the, the, the new experience to support it. So I'm gonna upload a PNG file here because that's what our extension is set to use. So I've updated my PNG file and you may not be familiar with the PNG icon that displays, but what you're seeing here is a custom icon uh, that it's, it's having for this PNG file. The second thing is if I were to go and um, look at the preview of this, it'll bring up my preview. Now in this case, again, we're not really implementing anything custom here because this already does a good enough job. But when I actually click on the file, what we'll see is it's gonna launch into our admin and we should hit our breakpoint pretty soon here. And so there it's hitting our breakpoint. And what I just wanna show you is the parameters that get posted to this page. So if we look at it, um, I can tell that SharePoint is the client. So it'll tell me whether it's OA or SharePoint. I can see things like the culture, what is the um, file get endpoint, what is the file ID, what is the file put endpoint, and what's the resource ID? So I can use those to get my access token, to um, get my file, update my file, all the, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and undo my breakpoint there and go ahead and click save. And so that'll bring me into um, our little custom file handler. So in this case, we're in the open view and the open view allows me to do some editing. So it's, it's very similar to experience you would get if you were um, looking at um, a file inside of something like paint. So I can do things like zoom in, I can zoom out, I can write on it. So I'll pick maybe a green here and let's maybe draw some glasses on me. So just put a little glasses on me. I'll change to another color. I'll maybe make the glasses a little bit bigger. So we'll put bigger frames on it. And then finally, everyone needs a mustache. So we'll go ahead and put a little mustache on me here. There we go. All right, so I have this, um, and again, even the, the drawing is gonna resize when I zoom in. But when I'm done with this, I can actually save this back to SharePoint. So um, in this case, I could either cancel or save. If I click save, it's gonna go work for a second, but then it's gonna bring us back. Um, it's kind of implemented as a save and close. And so there it is, and if we were to um, go in and download this now. Now the, the preview is hasn't updated yet, that's cached. But let me download the picture. And if we open it, what we can see is there's our image. So kind of a neat way of being able to use this. So um, I think the edit scenario is, is a unique one. I will show you the way that I'm, I've implemented the save is actually through a, a web API. So if I go back to the project, I have a, um, a save controller. And what this does is it handles uh, the, the case of a save. So 
Um, it'll do things like get the access token, and it'll use that that um, file put endpoint to go and and update the file. Uh, so anyway, this is building a custom file handler add-in. I'll make sure that my sample here gets uploaded to um, GitHub, and you can pull it down and see how it was built. Um, I'll I'll say the the drawing components. Uh, I mainly used about 50% of what sketch.js provides, but I ended up having to add a whole bunch of things to that to support an image and scaling and different things like that. But um, it's I think it's a pretty neat little solution to do annotations on images, and it certainly illustrates the power of the custom file handler add-ins. So thanks for watching.